Postmaster's authority freight fee paid, 1 tray ounce gold. House of Dallas TM Copyright DBA Linton O'Neill Dallas TM Copyright. A Walk Indian Nation, in America TM Copyright. C slash O Executor Office 2322 East Sabina Greater Port Moore St. Catherine, Zamiaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. To God be the glory. Public Record Number, 3951. Certified Documents Copy to the following. Office of Templar Church The Crown City of London, Crown Office Row. Office of Governor General. Commonwealth of Jamaica. Office of Secretary of State United States of America. An authenticated document. Protonotary or court clerk, file or record on demand. FN 048811U518768 U0916197 ATM copyright. Bond, LOD 1609197 HHIATM copyright. Dated, May 6, 2020. Judicial and Administrative Notice. In the form of an affidavit. Preamble. I, Linton O'Neill X, hereby declare and claim common law jurisdiction with equity remedy by estoppel. I, as man, do not consent to voluntary nor involuntary servitude, and I waive all statutory benefits. I, as man, do hereby acknowledge and accept the bond and public oath and or affirmation declared under penalties of perjury of all public servants federal, state, and local government in full accord. I, Linton O'Neill X, hereby revoke, rescind, cancel, Void and do not consent to any power of attorney I may have authorized, on any contracts I may have entered into during infancy. I, Linton O'Neill X, have now attained the age of majority, and is of sound mind and competent to handle my own affairs. I, Linton O'Neill X, hereby declare and claim Article Three Court venue with full diplomatic immunity and court of marshalcy as a state heir and dignitary. 0. 2. All Justice, Judge, and or Magistrate. 1. For the record, upon my honor, when I as man specially visit your traffic court on a forced response on December 18, 2019, summons to a bill of pains and penalties issued by the man Mr. Kirk Roach acting in the capacity as Detective Sergeant. Employed by the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, that is employed by the Corporate Government of Jamaica. I move this traffic court and you justice, judge, or magistrate to take judicial notice that my special visitation is special and not general, since this notice is my timely and specific objection to the presumptions upon which a false conclusion of law made administratively concerning my status before this court. 2. Mr. Kirk Roach, acting in the capacity as plaintiff in this case, is an administrative officer representing the corporate and de facto government of Jamaica which has legislative power to compel performance upon the letter of its statutes upon all persons subject to its jurisdiction. The only due process that its legislative courts recognize is the right to be heard on the facts of the case. 3. Mr. Kirk Roach, acting in the capacity as plaintiff in this matter, before this traffic court has made an unproven conclusion of law. Dallas TM Copyright, Linton O'Neill X, also known as a Wawaku Copyright Paramount Security Interest Holder of the Property in Collateral, Registered and Unregistered Belonging to the Party of Interest, is among those persons who have lost, or otherwise abandoned, their status in the guaranteed Commonwealth form of government. In addition, those persons who Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. P page 2. Are compelled to perform under legislative power upon the exact letter of every legislative statute with no due process of law protection other than that outlined in paragraph 2 of this letter. 4. It is from this false conclusion of law that the man Mr. Kirk Roach acting in the capacity as administrative officer, detective sergeant issued the contested bill of pains and penalties upon my legal entity doing business as Linton O'Neill Dallaston copyright and or paramount security interest holder the man Dallas, Linton O'Neill X. 
5. This court must take judicial notice that I as man Dallas TM copyright. Linton O'Neillex, an unenfranchised individual, has made a contrary conclusion of law to that of the man Mr. Kirk Roach acting in the capacity as plaintiff. Paramount Security Interest Holder Dallas TM Copyright Linton O'Neillex, also known as Awawaku TM Copyright claims his guaranteed, fundamental, and unalienable rights derived from the creator of life, guaranteed by both the organic national constitution and or state constitutions to full due process of law in all criminal matter or actions against him, means he is subject only to judicial power, not legislative acts. Said judicial power when exercise over him requires a corpus delicti, or damaged man, or woman, who is a victim, that has sworn out a properly verified complaint against him. 6. This is lacking in the criminal complaint against the accused man Dallas TM copyright, Linton O'Neill X, and or his legal entity brought on by the man Mr. Kirk Roach acting in the capacity as plaintiff. This accused man has the right to face his accuser, and the accuser must be a victim with valid proof of damage and or harm. 7. I, the unlawfully charged man Linton O'Neill X, declare that my unenfranchised status as a preamble American citizen slash a walk American Indian slash American national of the guaranteed Commonwealth form of government and an inhabitant of the American island of Zamayaka, Jamaica Commonwealth, that without a corpus delicti, a damaged man, woman who is a victim of harm, no court judicial or legislative tribunal has any jurisdiction whatsoever over this man Dallas TM copyright, Linton O'Neill X his person, property, or his possessions. 8. Therefore, the accused specially visits before the law side of this court seeking its protection from the excess zeal of the corporate administrative government. Trusting that this court will assume a neutral stance at law and require the man Mr. Kirk Roach, acting in the capacity as plaintiff in this criminal action or matter, to prove, in REM and or in personam criminal jurisdiction over the accused man to be a fact of law, before this court will take on the role of judging the facts of this legislative charge brought before you. Your bond and solemn public oath and or affirmation made under penalties of perjury compel nothing less from you. Statement of Trespass Claim Conspiracy against fundamental rights by our public servants. Your ignorance of the law is no excuse. 1. I, I am here as man at court and a walk American Indian, of the American island of Zamayaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. Neutral, non-combatant, non-adverse, non-belligerent by the law of nature, and the organic constitution for the United States of America 1787 amended as the Bill of Rights of 1789 ratified within 1791, the supreme law of the land. 2. I am here as man at court to publicly declare to all corporate combatant federal, and or state agents, and or THRID parties, man or woman that I am not a corporation, nor am I a United States, state, or the government of Jamaica created fiction. In addition, I am accepting all bonds and public oaths and or affirmations declared under penalties of perjury, and returning any or all actions from the same being brought or sought against this man or his juristic person slash legal entity doing business as Linton O'Neill Dallaston Copyright, or any derivation of the name for want of geographical jurisdiction and venue. 3. My fundamental right to travel was trespass upon by three men acting in the capacity as Corporal T. Walker, Constable B. Martindale, and Constable K. Weston, attached to the Public Safety Traffic Enforcement Branch, located 16 Lower Elliston Road, Kingston 16, Jamaica. My fundamental unalienable right to travel and own property is absolute, and I Linton O'Neill X cannot be arbitrarily deprived of said property. The theft of my property white probox Toyota automobile, and my liberty by these three rouge men acting in the Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 3. Capacity as public servants under color of law, which constitute a crime under public law.
Public law is separate and distinct from public policy, which is a private act and an act of commerce. 4. On Saturday, the 30th day of November in the year 2019, approximately 10.19 p.m., at the location of St. Andrew, and without the jurisdiction of the corporate government of Jamaica. Traveling in my personal automobile, with my personal decal affixed to the front and back of the personal private conveyance, which constitute public notice. My personal private automobile is not, required to be, registered as per federal law, House Bill 1778 FN A Local 2018 Session 18 2144 Greater than 3 October 2018 Along with my right to travel secured by numerous Supreme Court rulings and case laws. The United Nation Charter, Article 55 and 56. The International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, Article 12 Right to identify yourself as a man or person before the law, and right to liberty or freedom of travel. The Declaration of Human Rights, Article 6 and 13 affirm the right to identify yourself as man or woman or person before the law, and the right of liberty or freedom of travel. This authority comes from our creator of life given to I as man, not to you. Corporate government, which is an entity created by man. Five. Five. I was stopped by the man acting in the capacity as Corporal T. Walker, and was then arrested and placed in handcuff by the man acting in the capacity as Constable B. Martindale who proceeded to physically assault I as man and my person in the form of physical search. The man acting the capacity as Constable K. Weston supported his partner's actions. 6. These three men acting in the capacity as public servants conspired and stole my liberty along with my automobile, which is my personal property causing damage and harm to I Linton O'Neill X. 7. I did inform or advise, notify and warn the man acting in the capacity as Constable B. Martindale of the consequence of his assumed liability of contracting with the legal entity, Linton O'Neill Dallas TM Copyright. By which the man acting in the capacity as Constable B. Martindale consented via the endorsement in his own hand, on the back of the New Hampshire House Bill 1778 the very law that explicitly states the consequence of soliciting a man in his sovereign state capacity, is deemed silent deception and inducement by fraud. Title 18, Part 1, and Chapter 13 241 of the United States Code of Law, and Title 18, Part 1, and Chapter 13 242, Title 18 1001 and 1002, Title 15 1692E, Title 1578 FF applies. See evidence A attached here too. 8. However, I as man wish no harm to no man or woman. I am here at court to settle all properly verified claim brought before this court or any other court against my trust estate or I as man. I wish and require to face the man or woman who is the victim of the harm that is bringing the claim against I as man. 9. Any man, woman or person enters any plea or make and give any orders on behalf of the legal entity, doing business as, Linton O'Neill Dallas TM Copyright, or any derivation of the name, shall, and will assume full liability. You men and or women acting in the capacity of public servants are trespassing upon my property i.e. my legal entity, and you have no right nor authority, and has caused damage and harm which constitute a tort claim. 10. I wish and require to, Forgive the trespass against I as man, upon full restoration of my entire personal property white probox Toyota automobile, along with proper compensation for the damage and or harm caused to I as man. See evidence be attached here too. 11. I Linton O'Neill X hereby declare and claim this legal entity LINTON O'Neill Dallastum copyright and the certification of vital record bond number A5187686, state file number. 01020310821020 slash 2009, 
assessor's parcel number slash district number, A8811, along with all derivations of said legal entity, including the Treasury Registration Account Number, 11284106 attached to my driver's licenses. That is attached to my Caribbean Community Passport Number, A3206615. That is attached to my National Insurance Number, K712108. That is attached to my legal entity making it exempt and I immune from levy or taxation with toll-free and visa waiver travel on our ancestral lands. 12. If you do not know what this is, then verify with your supervisor if they wish to be responsible for your actions before making an unauthorized legal determination, which may place you, your supervisor, and your principal, secretary of state, or Minister of Finance, in an Article 3 impeachable felony situation, which is treason. 13. You are in breach of your fiduciary duties, and your public OATH the moment you interfere with my duty to exercise my right to be free, to think, to exist, to be, to travel, to own. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All rights reserved Page 4 And full joy property you are acting contrary to and violating the supreme law of the land, becoming an imposter in office, and an outlaw employee committing fraud by taking wages under false pretense. 14. The implementation of codes, rules, regulations, and statutes are nothing more than ex post facto laws absolutely forbidden by the Organic National Constitution of 1787 and State Constitution to which all justices, Judges and magistrates swore a solemn public oath to uphold. It is a gross negligence to fail to distinguish between statute and law. 15. No state shall convert a liberty, right to travel, into a privilege, license it, and attach a fee to it. C. Murdoch v. Penn, 319 U.S. 1051943. 16. The world passport that I present to the corporate public servants is my personal travel document, without the jurisdiction of the legal foreign entity the government of Jamaica. See evidence see attached here too. 17. I as man do hereby declare, and state notice of absolute forgiveness, and discharge forever of all known and unknown debt, duties, claims and liabilities associated with this legal entity i.e. Linton O'Neill Dallas TM Copyright. 18. I, Dallas, Linton O'Neill X do now accept the offer TO contract by the government of Jamaica under full immunity, without recourse. My fee schedule is published on the public record in the Superior Court of Record document. 19. You are trespassing on my legal entity, which is my business without authority or right, and has caused damage and harm to I as man. This constitute a copyright slash copy claim infringement, a 500,000 United States dollars penalty for each violation. This is your only warning. Notice to agent is notice to principal. Notice to principal is notice to agent. Evidence B. Evidence C. Evidence A. Lawfully and officially presented, all rights reserve, retain and maintain explicitly. Dallas, Linton O'Neill X, voluntarily declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state domiciled House of Dallas, and from without the United States identified in 26U.S.C.7701, A9, and A10, and under 28U.S.C.1746, that the foregoing facts are true and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief. So help me God. Date, May 6, 2020. Phone. 18764896016 email rossdallas1 at gmail.com authorized representative by linton dallas attorney in fact general executor and principal by linton o'neill house of dallas principal and executor for the legal entity linton o'neill dallas dom copyright copyright slash copy claim may 6th 2020 Judiciary ACT, 
24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All rights reserved Page 5